Good morning everyone. Wow, it is so early. I haven't spoken to anyone yet today. <clears throat> Happy Monday. It is very early in the morning. I've just come out the shower, washed my hair, done my makeup. Not very well, I don't think, because it is too early and I cannot function without a coffee. Just left for work a little while ago. In fact, he put the heating on for me in this hotel room before he left and I asked him to show me how to turn it off. He showed me and I cannot turn it off for the life of me. So I'm sat here and I'm really, really warm and I have no idea of how cold it is out Outside. so I'm trying to like dress appropriately and like pick the right jumper for today the right level of thickness because it is freezing here in Dublin <clears throat> Anyway, whew, this is far too much talking for this time in the morning. I wanted to come on here really quickly and let you know that I'm still in Dublin. Jess has obviously gone to work, like I said, and my friends Sandeep and Jags have taken the first flight out of London. They've just got to Dublin and they're about to check into their hotel, literally next door to ours, like any minute now. So I'm gonna go meet them. They wanna spend a couple of days in Dublin with me, which is really cool. I'm supposed to be this organized person that knows Dublin inside out and like show them all the sights. So far, I've planned where we're going for breakfast so that's a good start I mean we're obviously going to Pog because I love that place I've been there at least once a week since I've been in Dublin so I'm obviously going to take them there and after that I have no plans so yeah we just thought we'd call this fun day Monday or Monday fun day or whatever it is and just go with the flow and have fun in Dublin today so yeah I will take you along with us and show you what we do today first oh, I just need to wake up <laughs> look who I'm with! Hey, hey, hey! Hi. How are you? Hey, you look so glamorous and I just look like me. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! We just got off the Lewis and our first stop is Pog Cafe. Obviously, because they want to see what the fuss is about. I really hope you guys like it. I'll start uh. banging on about how good it is now. <laughs> it's like being out with bloggers, I swear. <laughs> how good does this look? We just got on the red line Lua. For the first time, decided to get off at Smithfield. Totally random and it is so cold. There's not much to do here, so Jack's found a bar. <laughs> Jinx it is. <laughs> say it again, say it again. Drunk Nishi's coming out. <laughs> yes she is. <laughs> First off of the day, what we have here. Prosecco. You look at your hat. It's like, could you have any more hair? <laughs> Sandy has a really funny story to tell you. So they flew here with Ryanair this morning and they forgot to check in online 24 hours in advance. They tried to check in on their way to the airport but check in online is closed, which meant that they would have had to pay £55 to check in at the airport. How ridiculous is that? And what did he do? So basically, we were well prepared. We just thought we'd check it on the way to the airport because they bombard you with 50 million emails saying, do you want a luggage upgrade? Do you want this upgrade? Do you want that upgrade? We'll send you life insurance, travel insurance, cat insurance, hotels. They'll promise you the world. And it's like, hang on, I just wanted bloody flights. Cut a long story short, got there. Waited in line for check-in and the lady goes, you need to pay £55 each because you didn't print your boarding pass. I was thinking, what is this shit printed on? £55 for a boarding pass? The lady goes, it's our policy. It's our policy. Your gate closes in half an hour. What would you like to do? How would you like to pay? And I was thinking, I'm not paying £55. No. So quickly went on my phone, she goes, oh, have you got a screenshot or any proof that you tried and it didn't work? And I'm like, no, because I didn't think to screenshot it. It just didn't work. And then I'm gonna talk really fast now. And then, um, and then I quickly. Oh look! Yay! It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he wants his own bottle. <laughs> Thank you. Does it read the portrait? Yes, please. Smile, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we 
got to finish the story, so let's go back to it. So, so she wanted £55 um, for the boarding pass, and I was just thinking, what is she thinking? Like, what, the, what the hell, and there's two of us, so that's £110 to print two boarding passes. So what I did is I quickly, while chatting to her, she goes, oh, you need to have a screenshot or some proof. And I'm like, well, I didn't take one. I didn't know it would be such a big deal. She goes, it's our policy, it's our policy. Well, you've got half an hour till your gate closes. Are you paying by cash or kind? And I um, ca cash or card. And then I thought, do you know what? I think I've got a screenshot somewhere. Quickly went on my mobile phone, manually changed the date and the time, took a screenshot on the app, went back to settings, changed the date again to the current date and time. I'm like, here you are. How are you giving <laughs> that me that? Is ha genius. How are you giving me my boarding pass? Electronic or paper? <laughs> Genius! Like that is such a good idea. Next time you forget to check in and they're trying to charge you, just change the date settings on your phone and the time, put it back in time, take a screenshot, be like, here, I tried to do it last night, it didn't yeah. work. Don't fall for it guys, £55 to print a boarding pass. Why an air you suck? <laughs> They are actually the worst. They really are. <laughs> I'm a slow drinker, okay? What on earth is that? <laughs> I'm sorry. How are you guys so like... How is that perfect? Because you're just not on point. <laughs> okay, okay, watch this. Watch and learn, my friends. Not I'm condoning this. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Now get to, now get to our level. <laughs> you can't drink at the same time. It's so cold, my teeth hurt. It is cold. It's it really cold. cold. I've eaten some scent today. Some work. And one more, um, you, you need to aim to get to the same level as those drinks. Close, close, I'll give you that. One close. more sip. Oh, that is very close. No, very close. That is close. Drunk Nishi is actually going to be arrested at the jail. <laughs> she will. Oh, uh, yeah, perfect. Now he's winning, ladies. <laughs> no, 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 go on, go on. <laughs> Don't need to tell you two twice, clearly. Don't need to tell me twice. Oh, God, I need a break. <laughs> We've literally just taken the tram out to the middle of nowhere <laughs> and we've come to Kilmainham Jail. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, you have to get buy tickets in advance, but we got really lucky. The guy in the tourist information office told us it was fully booked for this week, but we found some online and they were eight euro. You look so excited to go. <laughs> you were just like, oh God, this is so boring. He wants to shop before we go inside, but we're going to go in. Our tour starts in about five, ten minutes. Eat the drink So we bust out of jail, we all found it quite boring. To be fair, the guy that was our tour guide had like a really thick Irish accent and the room that we were sat in was really echoey so it was really hard to understand him wasn't it? We were sitting in the back of the class and didn't understand anything at all. <laughs> Excuse me, the front seats were already taken. We were kind of clueless, we didn't know what was going on and it kind of wasn't what we signed up for. So before me and Jags knew it, Sandy went to the front and what did you even say to the guy? He said, excuse me, I'm not feeling very well, I need to go back to my hotel but I want a selfie near the main stairs before I go. <laughs> so we got our selfie and now we're going to the Hilton across the road for more drinks because yeah, that's what happens on Monday fun day, eh? Yay. Paid eight euro to take a seat in an echoey cold hall. <laughs> Oh my god, how good do these look? Oh my god, so I totally fell asleep. Just got back from work. We had like a little bit of a nap. I think I needed it after all those drinks. And we've just been sat here waiting for about half an hour for the boys to get ready. We're going to go for dinner and more drinks. But they're taking ages. They haven't been replying, have they? No. And it's so cold. People have been telling us it's going to snow tonight. And it's absolutely freezing. So I only brought Uggs and trainers with me. Unfortunately, the Uggs are going to have to come out for dinner. But I don't care because I love them. They're warm and cosy and just so nice. Um... Me, I'm pretty much just ready. Like, I just literally had a nap, charged my phone because it was dead, um, and charged my camera battery. So, I am good to go. <laughs> so, Mac, right, we've come to a place called Kimchi for dinner, and we've ordered So Mac, which is soju, Korean wine, like a shot of it mixed with beer. 
could only get one to like share. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, first, Jess. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 Okay, I'm going to try this on Swimac. Um, that's actually quite sweet. It's actually, no, it's actually not bad. It's like a, it's got like, you know how you get a beer? You know? Yeah. It's like that initially, then the aftertaste is quite sweet. Some. Actually, it's not bad, you know. Sweet time. It's like a sweet taste, aftertaste to it. It's not like a traditional beer. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the bitter. You know how you get the bitter taste? Well, well it's kind it of. You know what I mean? It's got the, if you're not a beer person, you're not like it. I think it just tastes like beer to be yeah, honest. Yeah, but it's got like a sweetness to it at the end of it. I like that. It's got a sweetness at the end of it. It's nice. But, I don't even... Oh, wow. Thank you. Like beer to me, but a little bit. Mm. I like it. <laughs> Connoisseur. Do you know how when you go to Chinese and you have Chinese there? She could have just said that's Korean beer and I would know she's got. It just tastes like beer. Mm. With like a shot of like elderflower cordial yeah. type so, thing. Well, someone's, <laughs> someone's down. Yeah. Yeah. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, it's alright. Right. It's alright. Right. 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 The nice meal at kimchi and then we bumped into these three girls they were so friendly and they're telling us all the good bars to go to which is basically where we're headed anyway and now we all feel like our fingers and toes are going to drop off but we're still waiting for a taxi on the street do you know my irish accent tree tree o'clock <laughs> <laughs> he said to them, you guys say tree, do you, do you? She say free, you say you guys say free, or three o'clock. She, she did a really good English accent, she was like, when we came to London, everyone was like, three beers for a fiver. Three shots for a fiver, three shots for a fiver, <laughs> three shots for a fiver. we're like, what, free, is it free? Three shots for a fiver? <laughs> 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 it's so funny. Come on, do you need a bit of, bit of, bit of a US twang on it? Say shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> No, bro. <laughs> that sounds like Bradford to me. If you get your eyebrows uh, threaded, you say no, bro. That means you got no eyebrows. That sounds like Bradford slash Lee. No, it doesn't. That's like Liverpool Lee. No, shut up. That's like Jersey Shore. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I think you are shut up. Your father thinks we're like ridiculous. <laughs> he thinks you're from Essex. <laughs> I've been a 13 years? 13 years? 13 years? 13 years? We're not even drunk yet. Oh, this cocktail is amazing. He got strawberry bonbon. Strawberry bonbon? Yeah. I got rhubarb and custard, which has actual real life custard in it. We did like a whole like 360, we tried everyone's cocktails. Jass's is the worst. Not the best, seriously. The whiskey in it. The whiskey in it. The whiskey in it got some vanilla syrup in it. And Jag's got white sangria, which basically this tastes the of, like elderflower. It's also like, got a tree in it. This is the weakest. A <laughs> bit of bubble. <laughs> bit of margarita on the side, you know. He's got some growing in the side of this. <laughs> I still oh, we nice. told him to surprise oh, us. Oh, Thank wait, did we get the same? The same one. Oh, Thank twins. You. Thank you. Oh, what is it? Oh my gosh. Dragnishi is back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragnishi in the house. Woo -hoo. Yeah, they're very pleased to see Dragnishi. Yeah, you are weird. weird. <laughs> Stop telling that. Hold on, why is there no ethnic discount, first of all? Does it not exist in, in Dublin? It's important. Oh, no. I have a card. I have an ethnic discount card. <laughs> That's next door, I told you. <laughs> 
You even have like two for one. It's <laughs> <laughs> time to get three. Two what? <laughs> three! <laughs> three for one. Teddy tree! Three musketeers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put. We're gonna stand it, do it with hands. Oh, hold on, hold on. Three days. How, shall I do it? Yeah. Jazz, you need to. No. Guys, you need to get in properly. Yeah, yeah. No, and the other guy. Yep. That should do. <laughs> pow! Everyone pow! 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 Two o'clock in the morning. Mm. We're drunk. We're going back. Yeah, and I've got work in the morning. Can't believe it. I'm on, it's a He's school a night. Good sport though for staying out with us. Sandy and Jags are still out, so they're definitely not gonna make breakfast. Um, I'm waking up early for breakfast with you. Yeah, you sure we're gonna make it? Otherwise, we we'll both have to eat on our own. That's a bit sad. I'll have breakfast and go to sleep. Anyway, follow me for these two. Um, it's been such a fun day in Dublin. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we're at our hotel. This is it. Can't see. It's called the Gresham. Every time we tell people, all taxi drivers are like, oh, that's a nice hotel. And I'm like, it's really not. Like, I don't like this area at all. Over the street. But we're gonna go inside. So we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good morning, everyone. Feeling slightly delicate this morning. Um, <laughs> we seem to have lost Sandy on our travels. <laughs> The book of shame, the book of shame. <laughs> I didn't see him this morning, but I really wish I had. That would have been so funny. Jack described him as just looking tragic, like so bad. We've had a really nice long walk to Brother Hubbard, a place that I've wanted to try for ages. And luckily they do all day brunch because it's 1pm and I'm all about brunch. So we've picked a couple of dishes which we're really excited to share. Um, and Sandy's hopefully going to join us as long as he hasn't fallen asleep. In which case we're just never going to see him again are we? <laughs> He's just gone, disappeared, no longer part of this vlog. <laughs> That is brilliant. The whole restaurant knows how angry <laughs> I just can't, I just can't. I'll fill you guys in in a little while. Let me just eat. I'm Calm down hard. a little bit, you know. Okay, seems like we're cafe hopping today. We've come to Pog, which is actually oh. pronounced Pogue. It means kiss in Gaelic. But we've come to their second branch, which is actually like their original branch. I didn't know this, but I've never been to this one. And I've, we just thought we'd come here to try the pancakes because yesterday um, we were craving pancakes. Um, but we were just far too full to eat them. So thought we'd check this branch out. And it's not as nice, I have to say. It's not as like cozy. It's a lot smaller, but I had read that because it was their first branch ever. The other one's better for like, people that want to sit there and work, possibly. But um, we're getting pancakes and we've ordered like loads of toppings. You get this little like tip sheet there. So you can pick toppings that are like naughty, nice, or premium toppings. We've gone with banana, strawberry, blueberry, maple syrup, and clean teller, which we assume is like healthy Nutella. So we're all going to share because the portions are huge. I'm just dying for a coffee because my I wasn't a fan of the coffee at Brother Hubbard. It wasn't very strong and I ordered a mutter but I couldn't taste any chocolate which is a little bit at the bottom which wasn't very sweet so I've just gone with my usual cappuccino with oat milk and that should kind of give me the caffeine boost that I need for like the rest of the day or a few hours anyway. <laughs> Oh, 
We're in Chopella, which is this consignment store, and they buy and sell like luxury vintage handbags. They're amazing. Like, look at these Hermes bags. This Birkin is eight grand. I love the Chanel. Three thousand eight hundred. I should have bought it. It's so it's nice. Oh my god, I want one. Do they have With two? Twelve. Find ourselves in yet another bar. I blame this one. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a place Pygmalion. Pygmalion? But their cocktails are not very nice. We're not very impressed. Like my espresso like martini is not nice. There's no coffee beans on top. Um, it's not very strong. They're two for one for a reason, and they're quite expensive. What do you think? Are you impressed, guys? Jays. Bye bye, oh, everyone. So nice having you here. I feel like I live here. Thanks for visiting me <laughs> in Dublin. You. It's been it's such been a fun couple of days. Been, um, been, it's been memories, you know. It's been. Oh, it's been I'm back home in a couple of days, so I will know, yeah? see you soon. Let us know when you get back and let us know how the snow is. Bye. 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 See you soon. Let us know when you land. Let us know if your flight lands. It's snowing in London. Yeah. Or you'll know it gets cancelled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the boys have left. It's so sad. Just and I just went and got some dinner. Yep. And we just got the Luras back to our hotel. It's absolutely freezing here. So I'm going to end this vlog here because tomorrow I'm just going to be doing some work, catching up on the past few days, and doing last minute bits of shopping before we leave Dublin on Thursday. So I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon with a new video if I haven't turned into an ice cube by then. Bye. <laughs> Bye.